Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Victor again with my GV60. So today's video is about how I bought my GV60 at MSRP. We'll start it off with how it all began. And it all began with a simple email from Art, one of the sales managers at Genesis of Cherry Hill. So he sent me an email on April 16th telling me about how Genesis's priority one reservation system was open for the GV60. And at the time that was completely random because I had never stepped foot into Genesis of Cherry Hill, or so I thought. At the time I was about one month into my ownership experience with my brand new Ionic 5. I was loving it. I wasn't really looking for a new car or looking to trade in for a new car. But just after thinking about it, I eventually came to this conclusion that for a $500 refundable deposit, I would get the chance to spec out a car and then test drive it. Well, why not? Because it also happens to have boost mode. So the next day, April 17th, I went online, I spec'd out the car, I chose the delivery dealer, and then I put my deposit down. That same day, Genesis Priority One Concierge gave me a call to confirm the specs that I wanted, the delivery dealer, and then to see if I had any questions, of which they couldn't answer, because I asked them, what's the price, and will I be able to buy it at MSRP, of which they both said, we don't know, or we have no control over that. So the following day, I contacted Art over at Genesis of Cherry Hill, letting him know, hey, I placed a deposit, do you know what the price is, or if you'll be selling at MSRP? And he said, we sell at MSRP. And of course, I was a little skeptical, like most people, because most people have come across dealership experiences that just were not quite what they would seem. And on April 22nd, my sales guy, Brian, contacted me, introduced himself, and said, hey, we'll be in touch as we get more details. So then we get a few more emails going back and forth between now and then, nothing really concrete happening, just saying, hey, letting you know that you know we're still waiting. And in June, then all of a sudden, I saw news that, hey, the very first GV60 had been delivered to the US and to a customer in California. So I thought, oh, so they're here. It's only a matter of time before I should be getting that email or that call. Well, fast forward a week or two, I still hadn't heard anything from my guy, Brian, over at Genesis of Joy Hill. So I gave him, I sent him an email. And then a couple of days later, I got an email back saying, oh, I actually just got back to work. My wife just had a baby. I've been out for the past couple of weeks. So, I mean, before anything else continues, just congrats, Brian, to you and your wife. Hopefully it's a healthy, healthy baby. Hopefully you guys are all getting some sleep. Uh, but anyways, he said my GV60 had arrived at their dealership on July 12th. It was currently July 16th and that it will be ready for delivery on July 20th. So then we start figuring out the actual numbers for the cars, and that's when he sends me this breakdown, and it should be flashing up on the screen now. This is what I see, and I see accessories or dealer add-ons, and I'm thinking, oh no. So this is where it's all gonna fall apart. So I shoot him an email back, and he explains, oh no, these are just our dealer recommendations, you can decline them, that's not a problem. And now all of a sudden, things are getting serious for me because I've been on the forums and I'm reading how other people have contacted dealers and pretty much everyone or most people across the board are saying, if you want a GV60, it's gonna be a $5,000 markup. But here I am with an opportunity to get it at MSRP. Hard to turn that down. So at this point, I kind of have to make a decision because if I go and test drive it, and absolutely love it, can I actually bring it home? So obviously my wife tries her best to talk me out of it, and we end up just saying, well, we both hope that my test drive goes terribly, that I don't like the car, and I can just walk away. Now, I did already see this exact spec car over at Genesis House in, in New York about two months ago. Literally exactly the same car, performance model, a uni white on the outside, torrent navy blue on the inside, and the interior is what initially made me interested in this car. But I had never test driven it, 
and boost mode was kind of what I was hoping was going to win me over or be a complete disappointment. Now, thankfully, my wife supports my car hobby. She knows how much I just love being around cars and she supports my YouTube channel as much as she can as someone that just really isn't that interested in cars. So anyways, fast forward a little bit and wifey and the son dropped me off at the dealership because now I'm signing papers already with Chris. Uh, you've seen the goodie bag that they gave me. Thank you, Genesis of Cherry Hill. And the big news here is, yes, I did pay MSRP for this GV60. Uh, but there is more. My sales guy, Chris, then shows me a piece of paper saying that I'm getting complimentary their 341 package. Now, if you remember earlier when, when I flashed this breakdown, it showed that I was declining their 343 package. Well, apparently, I would be getting their 341 package for free anyways. Now, that 341 package includes coverage for wheels and tires, windshield damage, and paintless dent repair. And that's crazy because this is complimentary. This is not being, well, it's being forced on me for free meaning I don't have to pay a dime out of pocket. There's no deductibles. Um, plus, I got that awesome goodie bag. Well, it doesn't end there either. So we had decided to finance a portion of the purchase. I was planning to do a 36-month term for the financing, and that's what we put on the paperwork that got submitted to Hyundai's financing. But somewhere along the lines, and we, we all missed this even after we signed the papers, but somewhere along the lines, Hyundai Financing sent all the documents back showing a 60 month term and we, we signed, signed it and by the time we realized it, it was already about 8 p.m. in the evening. Hyundai Financing had already closed, so I'm not sure what our options were at that point. But anyways, I knew that I could still do the 30 month, 36 month term as long as I set it up that way in the payments when I logged in. Um, but obviously a mistake was made. And I asked Art, would you guys be willing to comp me some all weather floor mats? And Art said, sure. So then they put it in my contract documents that they will be getting me the all weather floor mats as soon as they become available. And I mean, that that's true customer service, right? Because technically it wasn't even Genesis of Cherry Hill's mistake. This was something that Hyundai Financing sent over where they changed it themselves and none of us caught it. But Art and the Cherry Hill team stepped up. You know, they took responsibility for it. They apologized for it. And then they promised me these formats whenever they actually release. So all in all, that was just, you know, a really, really nice gesture by them. And just really made me feel over the top about this dealership experience. You know, I love getting free stuff, right? Who doesn't? And in this case, I went in kind of expecting the worst because... For so many of us out here, that's just been the norm for our dealership experiences. But I honestly drove away in my GV60 at MSRP thinking that this may have been one of the best dealership experiences that I've ever had. Um, if I ever buy another Genesis, they may have won me over as a customer for life. So as a quick note, they are sharing their current dealership with a Hyundai dealership. Meaning when you walk in, you're going to see signs for Hyundai and Genesis. You're going to see the staff, I guess, wearing slightly different uh, attire, but it's a, it's a shared dealership and not quite the full luxury car experience as you would expect. However, you are getting the full luxury car customer service. But um, currently, they are building their own facility uh, a couple blocks away. Apparently, it's going to be a state-of-the-art facility with its own delivery bay, its own zen garden somewhere in there but it sounds really nice i'm excited to see it um, but i think it's it's going to be great because it'll pair their excellent customer service with that full luxury car dealership experience so interesting fact that chris told me he said a lot of hyundai dealers were trying to add genesis to their dealership so that they could sell genesis vehicles however corporate told them that if they wanted to do that they would not be able to mark up their genesis vehicles and that's really interesting. The thought I believe behind it was that for those markets that don't have Genesis in their area yet, these dealerships bringing in Genesis to the dealerships would be the very first point of contact, kind of the first impressions 
for that local area. And if they were marked up, you know, that's not such a great impression for people about Genesis. So that's why corporate was telling them, if you want our cars, you can't mark it up. And a lot of dealers, it appears, have just decided not to add Genesis to their dealerships. I'm sorry. So the result is there just are not that many Genesis dealerships. Plus the fact that when Genesis first came stateside, they were structured to be an add-on onto existing Hyundai dealerships, meaning you didn't see any standalone Genesis dealerships. So kind of that struggle, Genesis hasn't been able to offer that full luxury dealership experience, but now you're going to see these dealerships branching off from each other. Genesis is trying to set itself apart, and to do that, they need to create these new state-of-the-art facilities, and I think that's what's happening. So sorry, I know this kind of sounds like a sales pitch, but if you watched my how I bought my INEC 5 at MSRP video, then you'll kind of understand why I'm doing this. It's because there's so many dealerships out there that are charging markups. It's so hard to find a car nowadays that's not marked up. It's so hard to find a dealership that's going to be honest with you and be just truthful and give you the full customer service experience that you should be getting. And in this case, Hyundai 112 did it for me, Ionic 5. And that's why I posted about it because I wanted to spread the word. I wanted to share so that people could save money. And in the same way, Genesis of Cherry Hill is selling at MSRP. So why waste $5,000 elsewhere when you could save it possibly here? So there you have it. That basically sums it up. You know, I've been extremely blessed and fortunate to be able to get my INIC 5 and now my GV60 at MSRP. Honestly, it's not too late. The GV60 right now, I feel like you can still get relatively soon. I've talked to the guys at Genesis of Cherry Hill and it seems like they get a decent amount of allocations. They're supposedly the third largest volume dealer in the nation, which means they get a lot of GV60s and apparently the wait list is not that bad right now. So if you're interested, contact them. I'll definitely be posting Art's information, Brian's information, and Chris's information so you can reach out to them personally if you'd like. And obviously, if you're interested in other Genesis products, they still do not mark up anything at their dealership. So definitely reach out to those guys. And again, if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them with whatever limited knowledge that I have so far of Genesis products and the dealership experience. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.